a heavy bung hammer used by dock workers to hammer plugs into oak barrels. The man who wields the 16-pound tool must be strong and accurate. If he misses the mark, he'll shatter the barrel. It's pretty strong. Well, I was kind of hoping for an axe. An axe would have just been able to chop that door down to size. But I guess a hammer will have to do. Wait, I have a... I have an iron bar, don't I? Shouldn't I just use that? There is no place to slide the bar between the framework and, framework and the door. And though the door is not particularly sturdy, it fits tightly into its frame. Darn. I guess that means it's hammer time. Do 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 do. Ha, ha. Hammer time. Do 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 do. Da, da. Watson, a crime is being perpetrated in our very midst. We must apprehend the criminals. I will. I will need your assistance. Stand at the ready. I would think you'd run towards the scene rather than walking like that. Siege the castle! Gotcha. Right into the barrels! Strike! Lestrade is holding Blackwood at Bow Street on the charge of selling stolen property. While he is interested in how Sarah Carraway's jewelry came into Blackwood's possession, he is not convinced there are grounds to f issue a formal charge of murder yet. The man is a stupid and lazy cur, Watson. I swear he will drive me to distraction. Does he expect that I should do all of his work for him? Perhaps your criticism of his handling of the Collins bungalow murder still rankles. The assertion that a reasonably intelligent child of six could have solved the murder in half an hour did not sit well with him. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty good insult. Perhaps. Though it is true, his procedure was so sloppy it almost made me weep. So, Watson, it would seem a face-to-face -face with Mr. Blackwood is in order. What do you say? Lead on. <clears throat> Sorry. Lead on, Holmes. Though I suspect Mr. Blackwood may have lost his tongue. Perhaps you can think of a way to make him talk. Let us resume our investigation, Watson. I am prepared to follow you anywhere, Holmes. I suppose now is the time to joke about Batman and Robin, or make that connection, but I don't feel like doing it. Well, let's head over to Bow Street. Let's see. Here we go. A Bow Street Police Court. Let's talk to the guard, shall we? I'm Sherlock Holmes, and this is my colleague, Dr. Watson. Oh yeah? I am pleased to meet you, make your acquaintance, your worship. And you'll have to push off. Only official personnel is allowed down here. Well, protocol be du protocol be damned. I'm Sherlock Holmes. Oi! Stop right there. These premises are is restricted. Go back the way you came and there'll be trouble. Darn it. Well, we know how to deal with police procedure. That's to go over their heads. Maybe Lestrade can give us something? We need to talk to Duncan. Sergeant Duncan, if you please. I tried to speak with one of the prisoners being held at Bow Street Police Court. And Hastings won't let you in. Say no more, Mr. Holmes, that one takes his duties a bit too serious to my way of thinking. He, th I think he'd pull the, his caution, the Queen. Herself, she came in without a pass. Here you are. This should satisfy him. Thank you, Sergeant.
Let's take a look at what Duncan gave us. Allow the bearer of this pass access and freedom to question any and all prisoners being held at the Bow Street Police Court. Signed, Sergeant Jeremy Duncan, Officer of the Day. Well, it's nice to know that the duty officer has some power. Anyway, now that we no longer have to put up with that prick, or now that we can deal with him, let's go over his head. Alright, you jerk. You gotta give it to him, you can't use it. Very hood, Mr. Holmes. You and Dr. Watson may enter. Let's talk to George Blackwood, shall we? I have evidence that will put rope put a rope around your neck before Christmas, Blackwood. Confess. Your reputation for subtlety is undeserved, Mr. Holmes. You can hardly threaten a man who is about to die. Never mind, the threat is bogus in any case. I've only been charged with stolen property. The stolen property charge is a temporary expedient, Mr. Blackwood. Soon you'll be indicted for murder in the first degree. Now, here's a friendly word. Once the English judicial system traps a capital criminal in its ca capacious maw, it chews on him like a piece of tough mutton. And after it breaks him down, it unceremoniously spits him out like a s repulsive piece of gristle. Would you, not, would you not wish to spare yourself that aggravation? <clears throat> okay. Mr. Blackwood, your situation is precarious, to put it mildly. Do you have anything to say that, say to mitigate your crime? Anything that might save you from the hangman? Mr. Holmes, it was an accident, I swear. I didn't mean to kill that girl. I was hired to find a letter that she was supposed to be holding. What was in this letter? I haven't the foggiest. I never found it. I searched her digs in her dressing room and came up empty. So I held her up outside the theater, figuring she had it on her. Blackwood, you murdered a woman. Why, if you... Why, if you merely wanted to rob her? I was getting to that. She panicked, and I got overexcited. I sliced her and make her stop screaming. But it's my training, you understand. I went for the carotid artery. She was dead in seconds. Then, I tried to make it look like the Ripper had done it. Cut her up and took her jewelry. So that job wasn't a total loss. What a sordid story. A simple robbery turns into a heinous murder of a young woman. What could be worse? Since you asked, it turns out that Miss turns out that Sarah Carraway was the wrong girl. She's a redhead, you see. I was supposed to be looking for her sister Anna Carraway, who is a blonde. It's Anna who supposedly has the letter. How did you discover your error? Party that hired me, old gent very high tone, if you know what I mean. He became agitated when I described Sarah. After I told him I she didn't have the letter and she was deceased, he yells, Sarah! Hey, says he. You idiot! It's Miss Anna Carraway who has the letter. I beg your pardon, says I. But uh, you never told me her Christian name. You just said her name was Carraway. The nerve of some people. I just left him standing there at St. James Park, fuming at the sky. Who is this gentleman? Said his name was Fitzroy, but I'm certain that's a lie. People lie to me when they come to need my services. It's a sad commentary of human nature, isn't it? Why did he hire you? I got a tiny reputation among the upper classes. I've done a hub honey, strong arm stuff, a touch of blackmail, and a bit and an odd bit of dealing goods without the benefit of sales receipt. But I never killed until now. It was an accident, I swear. Swear no more, Blackwood. Let the, let the facts tell the tale. To whom did you try to sell Miss Carraway's jewelry? I've given you plenty, Holmes. How many others do you think think you want to drag down here into this hole? He's not telling me anything. <sighs> Great. That's stuck. Wait. Is that St. James? Is that St. James right there? 